take it with so we're not going Good morning guys, so I just spent the first night in the night cat hammock. Um, we had a bit of a thunderstorm last night, some rain. So I figured I'd do the review from inside here so you can see what's going on and I can stay warm and comfy. First thing I noticed this morning was that little hole up there in the fly screen and then I noticed quite a few more along that side. But I'm sure they'll sort that out for me so I'm not too stressed about that. Worst case scenario, there is fly screen patches. Now while this did stay down overnight, it still would be nice to have a way to secure it. Uh, you can see on this side, it actually sits in to the pole itself. So I'm not sure why they don't have an eyelet on that side to do the same. There is two pockets inside. You can see I've got my sleeping bag, bag stuffed into that one. And this one up here for my phone and whatever else. Two hooks on the roof. That one I got my light swinging off. At first I thought mine didn't come with any guide ropes because it does have two bits of elastic and two pegs. But in my other hammock the bit of elastic went across here to hold the fly screen up. So you don't need that in this one. Uh, and those bits of elastic are actually your guide ropes. I added in two more just for a bit of extra stability. I got these little ratchet ropes, which are pretty cool. Now you may notice in my video, the first time I had it set up incorrectly. So the bottom was quite saggy and every time you got in it, your bum would sag to the ground. Now I have watched a couple of other videos that had this same issue. It is because the hammock is hung incorrectly. Once you pull it tight and hang it correctly, uh, that completely fixes that issue. While we're on the subject of um, saggy bums, I don't know if you can see what I can see, but it's not the best thing to stare into, so we'll just look out the window. That's my Range Rover out there. So overall, I am pretty happy with it. I stayed comfortable and dry last night, and that is the main thing. It is quite windy here, and as you can probably hear, it's not flapping at all. So I'm pretty happy with that compared to my rooftop tent. Anyways, thanks for watching guys and I hope this has helped you out a little bit. Uh, if you have any questions, just give me a yell. Cheers.